Hey there, my name is Adele and I'm from Naked Divorce. I want to talk a little bit about the healing journey and how to get over a breakup. A breakup can seem like a small thing, but for a lot of people, it can really initiate what we call a shame-based identity crisis. Why? Relationships are one of those areas that we really feel we need to be successful in. And when they don't work out, it can really take that failure personally and really feel down and out about it and kind of beat ourselves up and get into a bit of a spiral. The second part is that we really define ourselves and who we are and our identity based on being in that relationship. For a lot of us, we don't know who we are when we're not in that relationship. So it can initiate these kind of negative things. So how to kind of get over a breakup, you need the steps that you follow to address both those aspects. You need to be able to get to a powerful place of of healing and recovery post the failure and you also need to be able to process your identity crisis or possible identity crisis to get into a place where you really know who you are and that your identity has superseded the relationship so going on a program of recovery has got to include those steps the next thing is to is to deal with whatever blocks you have to learning Healing is ultimately a learning journey and if you're not willing to go on a learning journey, you're not really going to be healing. The three blocks are self-compassion. When we're beating ourselves up, we're not going to be learning anything because we'll just implode. You've got to get yourself to a place where it's like, look, the thing that happened or all the stuff that happened in the past, the mistakes that I've made, can't do anything about it right now. I don't have a time machine. So all I can do is to integrate the learnings from that time. And make sure that moving forward I make better decisions and I if I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna make new ones the second component that blocks learning is learning denial or learning resistance this is when we're not really in a place where we accept reality and this is where we might be panicking negotiating trying to like get the person back and we're, we're, we're sort of being clingy and needy and rocking up on their lawn and stalking their Facebook and this this is not a good look so Getting into that place is not going to be advantageous for you. Acceptance is going to help get you on that learning journey. The next part is to get through your learning defiance. Because learning defiance happens when you accept reality, but you're not willing to adjust in any way, shape, or form. The reality is nothing changes unless something changes. So if you're not willing to kind of change yourself and adjust through this journey, you're going to get stuck. So getting unstuck, have that self-compassion, accept reality and accept and, and start to get willing to adjust. The next part that's really key is to go into a system where there's some routines and structure and foundations of transformation as I call them. Divorce is a trauma. So you need to be able to stabilize, have a, a good protocol where you're reflecting healthily on exactly all the learnings that you need to have from the journey. And you need to integrate moving forward to solve your identity crisis. If you have a system that is moving at the same time, a daily checklist, a good routine, you're eating well, you're getting enough sleep, you're having enough water, you've got kind of nice, healthy, grounding processes in place, your recovery will be a foregone conclusion. If you're all over the place, like one minute you're shaving your head, the next minute you're like catching a plane to Bali, and then you're like clubbing till 4 a.m., you're not going to heal this you're basically just going to spin out in, in in an entropic style okay what you need is that kind of groundedness centeredness and those foundations of transformation those then those healing steps are going to be critical for you and you know the bottom line is that's why i created this company and that's why we have the programs that we have is to facilitate healing from this particular trauma because it's a weird one in some ways, it would be easier if the person had passed away, which is a horrendous thing to say, but it's actually easier to process bereavement than it is to process divorce. Why? Because of the amount of support that we get from our communities. Think about it, when somebody dies, everybody rocks up with the casserole dishes and, you know, they're there to kind of help you feel better and, and you know, care about you and, you know, check in with you. With divorce, everybody kind of steps away from the really, cringy situation all right we don't really want to talk about this we all feel a bit bad we hope nobody wants us to pick friends and 
Oh, I don't know, like, um, she's looking really single and ready to mingle. Let me just hold on to my husband a bit tighter. People then end up feeling quite isolated and alone during this, and that's why we created this journey, to provide the right level of support to people to kind of get through that recovery. So getting over a breakup, clear steps, follow those steps, and you will recover. And if you want to find out about our programs and how we support that healing journey, book a clarity call with someone on my team and we'll talk you through the programs.